All right, on this video, we're gonna get some stuff knocked out that's bothering me about the car. Like I said, I just got this thing put together. But we're gonna get that taken care of and actually drive this thing a little today and you know, enjoy the car. All right, so real quick, some things I need to get taken care of. Um, not nothing like major. Uh, let's see here. I need to pull the seats out, pull the carpet forward. There's some braces that go for the transmission tunnel for the swap kit. I need to get that stuff done. I need to clean up the battery back here. I need to put the actual battery back here and like cut the wire to length and put a big fuse in there just in case. Um, so need to do that. Chomp, 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 chomp. Uh, and I need to finish the ECU. I just got some connections that need to be made permanent and kind of set the ECU to the side so it's not like in the way. And I'd like to put the center console in. So that's probably stuff I'm gonna knock out and then we'll take this thing for a drive. I'd like to have full interior for this thing. It's just in the house. Um, of course, it's the tan and black interior, which I hate. But I spent a lot of money. Like I said, I took the interior apart. Well, the interior was mostly apart when I got it. But you know, doing the swap, I had to take some interior stuff out as well. But anyway, like I said, um, need to make it my like I don't know if I want to like I don't know I hate the tan interior so I was kind of thinking of possibly like dyeing the door panels and stuff like that but I don't think it's gonna hold up and it's like man would you rather have clean or somewhat clean tan interior or just like trashy looking painted interior I don't know but I have two I think I would try with the door panels because like the most of the stuff is tan the carpet, the seats, the door panels, uh, the rear, like the plastics, like some of the rear, the rear cubbies. So I think, man, I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave everything tan, like the carpet, the seats will be black eventually, but leave the seats that they're in it now, for now. That rear cubby, I think I'll go ahead and paint it and have two sets of uh, door panels, so I'll paint that. And like if they look bad, I can just buy the black pieces later. Cause like the headliner being tan, the carpet being tan, not really gonna bother me that much. So, yeah, that's probably all I'm doing. But I'm not gonna do that today. Cause I'm gonna clean up this few little stuff and then we're just gonna take the car for a drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff knocked out, show you the finished product, and then we'll be all driving footage after that. So, all, right. all right guys, we got the seats and everything out. Um, and under the carpet, you guys can barely see it. That's the brace I was talking about. It's not the ones that come with the kit because those are actually welded to the white chassis. So I'm not going to cut those out. <laughs> so I just made some. They're not quite as thick as the original piece. Are as nice, but I think they'll work. And plus when I buy the kit for the white car, the updated kit, I can always take those out and put the new ones in there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same pattern, which I hope it is. Because like I said, those are welded to the white car. But that's an issue we'll deal with when we get to it. But for now... I'm going to finish vacuuming all this crud up and then put the seats back in. Then we'll move on to something else. All right, guys, we didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Like I said, I got those little braces on there. And like I said, I ended up taking the cluster off and got into like a bunch of stuff. But anyway, I got to put back together. Got Dino loaded up. We're just going to head up to the car wash and drive this thing for a little bit and put some miles on it. So. This is already a whole lot better. I got windows, I got radio. So I'm looking forward to getting this thing well sorted. I think it's gonna be a fun car to drive around. If I don't pull out in front of somebody. That'd be cool. Guess we'll be sitting here for a second. I know. <laughs> That's how single I am, guys. 
Like our prank spray with off. Yep, just another LS Swap Dark 7, but like I said, before you get mad about that, remember that. That's all I'm going to spend. Now it's registered on the road, finally. So now I can focus on getting this thing cleaned up and actually making a good car out of it. All right, guys, like I said, um, not that I really recorded much, but like I said, Dark 7 is together. Like I said, I still got a few things to do. I have to um, I said, just clean up the wiring and stupid stuff like that, put the interior back in the car. But, I mean, it is a running, driving car, registered car now from the first time since, like, 2009. So, if you can't get behind that, then uh, maybe, I don't know, you're not the RX-7 fan that, that you think you are, I guess. Because, I mean, I'd much rather see the car LS swapped on the road, people appreciating it. Like I said, you can't drive an FD without people just, you know, giving you thumbs up and stuff like that. Because, I mean, everybody loves these cars. The RX-7s, the Supras, the 300ZXs. And I hate to see people just... That had these cars. I mean, like people are like, oh, FDs are so rare. Like, really? I have a lot of friends that have RX-7s stashed and hidden in their garages, all over the place. And I just no one drives them because they're expensive and they can't get the project going because you know it costs a lot of money or you know it's expensive and they don't want to drive it because they don't want to break. So having one that that you can drive is is my goal. Because I, I mean, the white car. Not that I got to see it, but I drove that thing a lot. I mean. Anytime I had to go anywhere, I was like, oh, I'll take the RX-7. So, I mean, I drove it a lot. And that was the whole thing behind this. It presented a lot of problems driving that car. One, it has a roll cage in it, so it's hard to get in and out. Uh, it doesn't have heat, AC, windshield wipers, or anything like that. No doors, no windows. So, I mean, it's like, it's not really something you can drive every day. This right here will be a car you can drive every day. It's got working windows. has a radio. It's going to have heat and AC. It doesn't have it yet, but it will. It's going to have, you know, full working gauges. I just got to save up the money. I just got to save up the money to buy the the wiring harness and stuff so all that stuff will work and buy the stuff to get the AC hooked back up. But it will be a, a really nice car you can drive every day and that's what I want. So I definitely know I made the right decision now. Not only did I get rid of the rotary stuff, which I couldn't afford, I got an S14 to work on that I can't afford, but I got my RX-7 put back together and everything. So Sweet. And now instead of taking the money and trying to get the rotary car on the road, which wouldn't have been very daily, you know, a car you could daily because it was half bridge port, single turbo and stuff, you know, you'd have to put a lot of money into that car to make it, you know, a comfortable car to drive every day. Now I can take that money and put it in the white car and I'll have two LS swapped RX-7s, so, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, this car is definitely going to be used and abused, but taken care of, um, I was actually showing out for some guys at uh, an oil change in place, you know, kind of gave me thumbs up and stuff and want me to be stupid, so kind of sliding around a little bit, but, you know, being immature or whatever, but I'm glad those guys appreciate it. That's what it's about, like I said, just getting out and enjoying these cars because they are, they were definitely something special and unique, and I don't think we'll ever see anything like these anymore, so, yeah, that's enough of me rambling, guys. Um, a lot of cool stuff coming like i said with everything going on it's just really motivated me to to kind of put my head down and focus on you know what i want to do and the direction i want to go <laughs> so but all right guys appreciate it we'll see you in the next one